You know, I was a little bit discouraged from talking about gold series, but I want to talk about the possible implications on what can still come out of this set. An expected value, of course. Don't be like the 36.5% of you have not smashed the crap out of that scrap and smash it so we can get to 100k. Everything that we have seen out of gold series so far, implications for further down the line here, and all the little sugar coating rainbow on the top here. So we saw floating around on social media the alternate rescue uh, ham. I say hamster, little rescue cat. Now, let's be honest here, ladies and gentlemen. I know most of us are super excited to see uh, Cat getting a reprint. Cat has needed a reprint for so freaking long. I this card has had such an extremely high value that it's absolutely been crazy at this point. Um, considering the fact that they did push that out as an alternate art. I'm super extremely happy about that. And while most of the comments I've read on social media have been very mixed about Cat, um, I don't think that's a bad thing, honestly. Um, actually seeing the community uh, have different opinions on that actually been kind of interesting, most things considered. But this should check Cat's price down to something a little bit more affordable. Like, really, honestly. We need that at this point. Now, the other thing from this set that was an absolute bombshell that we saw come out was like what is up with lambda all right lambda maintained such a high price point for how long now and now he's going to be available in a very very easy to get rare i'm actually super excited about that actually this is good news for budget players considering the fact that we all now so will have a gold gamma so that gives us what ultra Rare, uh, super, and gold gamma. So that's four print, no, and collectors rare. Five printings of gamma at this point. So having a cheaper availability on that, I, I, I know we look at gold series and, you know, we kind of go, well, am I happy about this? There are a lot of people out there that actually like gold, like platinum rare. Oh, God. You guys know who you are out here. You guys know the craziness that you guys are. Uh, you guys, you are mad lads that love Platinum Rare. But at the end of the day, I know Gold has a few choice collectors out here for it. So I think that it's all going to kind of blend in together here. Um, imagine if Lambda would have been a Gold Rare. I think people would have been a little bit more excited for that. But at the end of the day, all right, we'll take that. Now, basically everything that we've kind of have expected to come and pass out of the set usually has been pretty standardized. I, considering the fact that Cursed Eldland was pretty much broadcast to the world to be in the set, the card needed a reprint for how long at this point? All right, Konami stepping up to the bat and went, you know what, we're gonna handle this for you guys. Uh, and I'm actually very happy about that. Now the one big change from this Gold Series to from the previous one that I liked best about Gold Series was Last year's did not include any new cards in it. And I think a lot of people were actually, I, I don't think it made its way out to like the surface level, but I know a lot of people were really saddened about that. You know, there's so many like cards that we can still import that we're missing. A set like gold or whatever you want to call the gold series at this point is such an excellent opportunity for Konami to, to look at these imports and go, okay, you know, we can divvy up five, six cards into gold series and we can use this as a reprint point. All right, that's where the Numeronius stuff comes into play here. That gives us that reprint window to insert these things. You know, they had the number file actually in Japan where they reprinted all the number monsters and the TCG really wanted that product. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, being able to get every number monster kind of reprinted in like a nice little like box for maybe $200. I was on board with this product like that, honestly, to kind of see them break that apart, kind of shatter those dreams here, and it just kind of showed that, you know, they're not really too interested with that. And then, you know, since they set the precedence for doing that in Gold Series this year, you look back to the OCG coming out next year, they have the Kaiba briefcase with the Kaiba manga decks for insert Kaiba stuff like that. So, 
you know, whatever Gold Series we do next year, well, that's now on the block as an insert for there if they choose to do a third Gold Series at that point. So that's something else to kind of keep in mind here as like a subsection. Now that we've set the bar on this Gold Series as a possible insert window for exclusives, the next kind of product that fits that bill is that Kaiba set later on down the line here. So I think a lot of people are going to be happy if they continue to use this as another import set. Because, I mean, like I said, after last year, not being able to kind of fit in those other missing reprints was kind of discouraging. Now, overall, for the crazy amount of stuff that we saw floating around yesterday out of this set, I can tell you that the way that the core set is structuring up, it's going to be pretty good. All right. Konami has a very weird way of using these rare slots to kind of fill the space between last year and this year. This year with the Praying Kids reprints, yes, even though Meow Meow is locked behind its current door at one, I have a feeling a time will pass where we will see Meow Meow return back at probably two. Uh, once again, you know, we have the Omni Negate knocking on our door much, much later down the line here. So once we get to that, once we get to that point, I'm pretty sure whatever sort of like praying kids value that is being reprinted and generated here, that'll be good for the game. All right. Now, alternate arts. Now, I, I, I just want to give like a sub note here to access code. Uh, cause I've talked about this a few times cause I've been on this ghost from the past two theory for a little while. I, would like to see an Access Code Talk reprint in some capacity. And I've mentioned this before when we look at these Gold Series um, leaks so far. You know, truthfully, Access Code Talker would be a good place to have put in here. But the problem was they didn't advertise it, all right? They chose to go for, like, everything else around the rainbow. So if seeing, like, a power card like this not being presented like a selling point, I don't think access code should end up being in here. Despite everything that we've kind of heard or like kind of have seen on these wish lists, I don't know if it's going to happen, let alone like the possibility of like access code talker. Like we've had the memes aside here for like the alternate art floating around for so long here, like is the meme, but I feel like ghosts from the past is like the best place to potentially put this. So I tensions are running high with an access code talk reprint. And the longer that we dodge it, I'm fingers are crossed that I'm wrong here about access code talker not actually being in this set. I am actually super excited if it ends up being that. So mystic mind being in the set is a gold rare. I mean, I know so many people want the card banned at the end of the day here, but let's let's be honest, guys. You know the card needed a reprint. When most of the sub card is locked behind its already crazy price tag, I know a lot of people weren't too happy about that. Um, so seeing it, I, I mean, yeah, getting another reprint seems a little bit discouraging to people, but at the end of the day, it, I think it's fine. All right, <laughs> another version into circulation, we go. Outside of that, Everything else we've seen for Gold Series for this set feels good. I think Konami took a lot of time, at least for the first round of stuff that we've seen here. I think Konami did a good job making sure that the reprint niches are filled. I think they did a really good job with this, especially considering the fact whatever's going on with Eldritch reprints in this set, poor Golden Lord getting the reprint in the first Gold Series and missing out on all the support until the next one. Uh, I think they did a very good job on that, uh, especially, you know, some things that we needed reprinted. I hope that this is the place where you actually chose to put Chimera. All right. Jokes aside, Konami, you know that Chimera has needed a reprint for a long time. You know, Access Machine needs a reprint. I really hope the jokes about Verte being in this set also come true because these cards need reprints. Unless you're going to go put them over here in Brothers of Legend, but... You got to go fill the void with the fairy structure deck and the utopia structure deck. And if we're just not going to import those, then Ghost from the Trash 2 over here becomes even more of a reality at this point. So, things you're going to have to consider for 500 here, ladies and gentlemen. Gold Series, I, I've heard a lot of good positives about this so far. Uh, after a lot of people looked at the stuff yesterday, I've heard a lot of possibilities behind this set. So, guys. What do you think about everything that we've known and seen so far? Are you going to pick up 
Gold Series El Dorado. Please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe button. So you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I think there's a lot of good value present in this set, truthfully. All right, I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on today with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your Cartway Vanguard content brought to you by M. Cole 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.